Rage on that beat, going crazy. G'day and welcome back to the channel and thank you for joining me. Today we're checking out Uncrashed FPV Drone Simulator. This is reasonably new and already has 13 lovely little maps and actually not so little. I have been playing this, uh, I've got a couple hours on it now and yeah, I tried everything, I'm pretty sure, apart from this one. Actually, I haven't tried this one or this one, but I've tried everything else. And I've got to say, some of them, uh, like the city park here, High City, uh, the Sanatorium, I mean, these are great maps. Uh, this is a good long range map. Unfortunately, long range here isn't, could do with a few uh, touches, uh, but most of the maps are fantastic and well worth your time. So if you're looking for a simulator, I'd check this out. So one of the things with simulators is that they all have a slightly different feel. Um, I've, I've definitely noticed uh, after playing a few that, yeah, uh, some feel uh, much more realistic than others. Excuse my chair. Now, this one actually feels quite good and uh, coming back and forward from this to lift off, I found that I had a much nicer time enjoying a, uh, a 4S setup. Now, liftoff doesn't do a 4S setup very well, but this one does, it, it seems to anyway. Now, you can uh, adjust a lot of stuff, like the air friction and grip, uh, which, which actually, you may want to play with some of this, because one thing I found about this is that uh, the way that the uh, uh, quad grips the air and turns is uh, a, little, a little weak, slightly, but apart from that, it's very good. So let's hop in and we're gonna quickly check out um, High City and then we'll check out uh, Road Trip because this also has vehicles in it and I found Road Trip, the dock as you can see there in the little thumbnail has, has some vehicles, but I found Road Trip to be really cool. So I'm gonna show you the city park. Okay, so here we are in city park. Now you can immediately see a little bit of a jump there, but that might be because I'm recording. I've got the quality turned right up. Everything's on like epic or ultra or maximum settings. And you can see it looks really nice. This is a really, really nice environment and it's not small. Sorry, I just had to get a hair off my face. It's not small, it's, look, you know, a whole soccer field there, which is probably like, maybe a waste of space because you should have more structure, it'd be more fun. But anyway, that's cool. It's a beautiful map, I'm not complaining. Some tennis courts. A couple of these lakes around. Some other like pavilion structures and, of course, you can see the edge of the map there. And sometimes you can fly up to it. There's a few playgrounds in it too, actually. Oh, I tapped. Now there's no damage to the quad in this game. You can just sort of whack into the ground and no one's gonna really mind. Lots of tunnels. Some ornaments. One thing I did notice was kind of amusing. They're assuming that you are extremely good at waterproofing. Oh God, oh God, what happened there? That was not what happened last time I flew into the water, hold on. Oh, I lost control. What, it reset me, what the hell? Okay, so that, that happens. Not so much to be done about that. Now my keyboard. Oh, this Logitech, uh, what was it, G950 or whatever keyboard, it just drives me around, uh, like, around the wall. It's a great keyboard when it's like, you know, within reception, uh, which is two feet from the computer. So, yeah, great stuff, Logitech. Anyway, right. So, 
that's pretty well that. There's a lot to explore here, a little paths to fly down. This is really beautiful and I, I really think this kind of workmanship into, uh, into the environment should be commended. I mean, I can almost imagine doing a little rock crawler course here too. This is it's really nice. I wonder if I can change the time of day. That glare from the sun's a bit mush, isn't it? Alright, let's have a look at the next map. The High City. The High City. Hey, this is awesome. This is this is really cool. Like all cyberpunk. With with the vehicles are slightly diesel punk actually. But, but it's cool. A really cool little vertical three-dimensional environment to um, whip around and you can run into the cars. Of course it's not too big this one compared to the size whoa size of the last one and yeah like you see you've got props made of yeah adamantium and mithril and so is your quad but that's fine it's a sim this is for learning continually having to reset and just because you bug it up your props is probably going to be annoying for <laughs> annoying for um you know but it's good for a muck about this. I, uh, I can imagine, you know, you can do a bit of... A bit of whatnot here. Muck about. Mostly run into shit at the moment, but you know, whatever. Not too much throttle there. Well, oh, drop in on the uh, 5-0. Hey, boys. And that's that. Again, another really cool map. Had some really cool work done to it. And uh, highly commendable. Let's check out another one. So, for those who want to uh, sort of practice, um, you know, doing racing and whatnot, there are tracks built into these as well. And we'll hop over to Road Trip. And uh, find the beginning. There it is. So if I do this, it's going to overlay them all the, the the gates all down the road for this. But that's what I'm really looking for. You can do these probably, I don't know, a couple of kilometers worth. Worth of road. The vehicles seem to be going pretty tame at the moment. They're not drifting or anything. But you can get some nice practice in here, doing a bit of chase work. Mike from the future here. One thing I will mention while uh, Mike from the past is uh, busy flying is that uh, there is no multiplayer in this game. It would really be nice to see some multiplayer but hopefully we can see that in the future. Anyway, back to the video. And the cars actually do crash into each other sometimes. And then they go all tame for a bit. It's quite funny. Watch out for oncoming traffic. Whoa. Now that's something I have found, like doing complex uh, maneuvers like that, I'm not quite on point with the sim, but you know, it's uh, something that comes with practice that, and one of the things about sims, when you're flying, when you're, when you're someone who's actually you know, flying FPV coming into a sim, um, it can feel really weird. It's still really good to, to learn, but it can feel really weird and you've got to sort of sink back in with your equipment how it sort of works. And then you can hit the race, of course, going the wrong way. Whoa, that was terrible. I'm 
course, you can't hit the gates. So that's really cool. Long range guys, there's some stuff for you too. So this is a beautiful long range map. Really give you that feeling of flying in the mountains. And there's your little bunker down there. got to remember I'm flying at 30 degrees. I don't usually fly at 30 degrees camera angle. Oh, he taps. He rolls. Nobody saw anything. I wouldn't advise tapping mountains like that with the cold in their life. It's not even a good idea to do it in the game. And we're bad at it. So this is a really lovely environment. Gotta say. Really lovely environment. And as you can see, you've got a distance, altitude reading. So you can... Uh... No, I'll have to get back over there. You can try to, try to be a bit realistic about it, but you don't have to be. It's all for fun. And of course there are other fly modes. So you have angle, all that good fun stuff, and 3D. Woo! Not really a 3D pilot, but you know, whatever. It's kind of fun. And so that is Uncrashed. This is a really cool, really cool simulator. And if you're looking for a sim, I highly recommend you go out and get it. It's available on Steam, and uh, that's all I really know, because that's where I got it. So, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the uh, video and that you have found it valuable or useful. And please like and subscribe if you did. Be well out there, fly safe. I will catch you next time.